thunderstorms. We'll talk more about it, but I wanted to first kick off with a, a look at the advisory an air quality advisory that the National Weather Service has issued over near Ben down south because of the Cedar Creek fire. So if you are going to be down in this area, make sure to have an N95 mask just in case if you are going to be doing any outdoor activities. But looking currently at our air quality right now, we are only seeing some moderate pockets of that poor air quality. As you can see in the yellow, everything in the green is good air quality. Now, this is completely different to what we were experiencing maybe two to three weeks ago with all of those fires burning at once. But taking a look outside right now, we're at 60 degrees. Calm winds, eight mile per hour winds, and beautiful, beautiful night. Now, we can thank these cooler temperatures because of this low pressure system with this cold front. As you can see here, we're already starting to see some rain slowly but surely move over along our coast, as you can see here. So, everything in the green. And a little bit closer look at home. We're not expecting to see maybe any promising rain tonight, as you can see here, and even maybe tomorrow, maybe a little bit down south. But again, the batch of what we're expecting to see for that promising rain is going to be the best bet Saturday night into Sunday morning. So if you have any plans, you want to go outside and check out the rain because we haven't seen some rain in a while. Uh, again, Saturday night into Sunday morning is going to be your best bet, but we are also tracking the potential for some isolated thunderstorms. Everything that you do see here pop up in the yellow could quickly turn red, which would signify potential isolated thunderstorms. So we're going to make sure to keep a very close eye, but come Sunday, things are going to kind of start to clear out. We will see a little bit more of those lingering uh, clouds there, but come Monday, kicking off our work week, we'll go back to clear and sunny skies, something that we've been dealing with time and time again. So how much rain are we expecting to get? Well, really not a whole ton. Many of us aren't even going to be seeing, uh, you know, less than a tenth of an inch of rain. But looking at those current temperatures right now, we are seeing those 50s and 40s, 60s right now as we're looking over near Portland. But taking more of a widespread look, we are seeing those 40s over in Newport. And again, 50s and 60s, not too bad if you ask me, right? Valley forecasts, we're expecting to see those lower 70s for McMinnville, Salem, and also for Corvallis for tomorrow. And as we're looking along the coast, if you're heading that way, it's more of a cooler trend. Again, those mid to lower 60s, Astoria, Pacific City, and Newport as well. 70 forecasts, this is what we're expecting to see. 69 degrees for tomorrow again the best bet for us to see some of those showers saturday night into sunday morning early early sunday morning but again there's always potential for some lingering showers so david i am excited and then we warm up yeah a little bit of a trace but look at all that sunshine in the seven day as we head into fall no one's going to argue with that